All right, just a little un unboxing for y'all. This is the highly coveted Allen Wood Custom Wood Lore. Pretty nice. Great Scandinavian grind on it. Feels good in the hand. Notice I have big hands where my hand is falling here. Just hang off a little bit so this handle could stand to be a little bigger. But I guess the reasoning behind this is I mean, the, the craftsmanship on this is just top notch. Beautiful. Look how that tang thins out toward the back edge. But for the common man, I'm not even going to say what the price that I paid for this is. Y'all know how high they are. I want to show you a little comparison. I'll show you the leather work too. Nice sheath. Pretty thick. But there you go. So let's do a little comparison with other bushcraft bushcraft knives I have. Everybody knows what I think about the Spyderco bushcraft. Great knife. It's my main carry most of the time. I've been carrying the uh, Woodsman Trapper a little bit, but I still haven't found anything that's going to carve with this knife. I'm still searching, but I haven't found anything. The one downfall to this knife is right there. Tower. For it to be made overseas, you would hope it would be in a little bit cheaper range but it's not but I tell you it's still worth every penny so let's do a handle comparison notice the spider is a little thicker let's put them try to get them in frame here when I got them you notice the spider coal Try to do this without cutting myself. It's a little longer. So let's put it in the hand. You notice, got a little extra hanging out there. And that curve on the back, actually, I just like it. This is the most comfortable knife I've ever put in my hand. I've said it before, I'll say it again. But now let's look at the blade profile on the knives. Very, very similar. Spyderco was copying the wood lore is what it looks like. Uh, the grind on the spider coal actually comes up a bit higher. Thickness on the blades are the same. And spider coal is a little heavier. Let's see where the balance is on the spider coal. It's a little further back on the spider coat than the wood lower with that tapered edge. It's right where your front finger is. There we go. <clears throat> but instead of spend, spending several hundred dollars, you can get something for less than 150 and be in just as good of a shape. This is a collector. Only one like it in the world. There's some that look similar, but nothing out there is exactly like that. There's a bunch exactly like this. Alright, for <clears throat> more common man, let's talk about the Condor Bush Lure. This one actually come with a pretty good Scandi grind on it. The last one I got came with a Sabre grind. So evidently they're changing things up. I need to restrop this edge. I got a few dings in it. I've been messing with it so you can see the dings. But I'll get this back up speaking span, no problem. 
This one will throw sparks off the back of the edge, just like either one of those. This one, thickness-wise, let's just grab one and show, is a little thinner than the Spyderco. Lengthwise, let's put them blade to blade. Try to get this in frame for you. The bush lower is a little longer. Overall, the handle on this knife. Oh, let's, there we go. The bush lower is a little longer. So for, I'd say, common man, if you're on a real tight budget, this was this is a great, great knife for the money. Comes with a good leather sheath with it. I'm kind of a fan of leather myself, but I bought another sheath, hand-sewn leather. Robert Jones, you want to look it up, he sells his sheaths on eBay, this is a dangler. Something changed up, this is not as thick as the last one that I got, this is a different kind of piece of leather they put on the front. This is actually for Brothers of Bushcraft Knife, but I have found that the Spider Co, the Bark River Bravo ones, um, the Bush Lore, all of them fit in this sheath very nicely, no falling out, no wiggling. So if you're looking for you another sheath, 50 bucks, you can have you $100 and have you a hell of a little package right here. Now I, I, would, I would bet my life on this package here. That Condor Bush Lore is a fine, fine knife. But I guess the whole purpose behind this video is to show you, you know, this highly coveted wood lore knife. People wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. You don't have to spend that kind of money to get the same type of performance. I actually, this one feels better in the hand than this. Now, this is my opinion. Others may say I'm crazy as hell and start griping or whatever. I don't care because to me, in my hand, this one is more comfortable than this one. This one's skinnier all the way around. This one's thicker. And I got big hands, so keep that in mind. It fills my hand up better and just it feels better. Um, but like I say, there's a little knife pouring for you. The Allen Wood Wood Lore knife. So I guess I end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and you want me to do more videos like this, let me know. I really my channel as far as the direction it's going in I'm just posting whatever I'm into you know I'm gonna put up some videos of a buddy of mine Bobby Lawler I'm gonna post some of them up to where they're playing music but like I say I mean if that's something you wanna watch you can if not like I say I'm just posting things I'm kinda into and hope y'all get some enjoyment out of it and and if y'all have any request, I probably got it of a certain knife that, you know, a mainline knife, not any kind of different customs because I don't have that many custom knives that you want me to, to do. If y'all want to see the bush lore go through the ringer, let me know. Uh, I'm kind of thinking this, this one's going to be one. I actually went out and put my Russell Green River through the test on my wife's Nikon camera and I can't get it to upload and I also did the uh, Woodsman Trapper the Diving Sparrow knife by uh, Sarge Faria but uh, if I can get that uploaded for y'all I'll try to get it on there if not I may just have to reshoot it but that Russell Green River knife really surprised me Really, really, really surprised me, guys. That's a great knife. You can go to canteenshop.com, pick you one up. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is the Moody Bobby One signing off.